Are the oil companies responsible for the high price of oil? Well, we are price takers. We don't set the price of oil. I'm surprised that it has gone up as high as it has, and I think it's very good, particularly for the world public, for the American public, to see the oil prices moderate back some. But Massachusetts Congressman Ed Markey, chair of the Select Committee on Energy Independence and Global Warming, says big oil has done little to fight the price rise and has benefited greatly. We're in this very interesting situation right now where oil companies uh, are recording record profits, and yet they're still holding on to the tax breaks from 2005 that President Bush gave them. So as taxpayers and as consumers, the American people are tied to the oil company's agenda, which in the long run uh, is an economic catastrophe for our country. You do agree that this is supply-demand, which has pushed up prices, right? Oh, it's being pushed up by demand, but the demand never had to be created. That is, that we could have already moved along the technological revolution path that we did in telecommunication. It may feel like we dodged a bullet, oil easing from its record highs. But Antonia Yuhas isn't comforted by momentary market relief. The dips are actually going to create some of the most problems and are going to jar economies more and more. So the idea that there might be some relief in these uh, ups and downs is uh, ephemeral at best. Their policies and the way that they operate. One of the problems, Yuhas says oil companies are vertically integrated. They hold all the cards. They pump the oil, process it, and sell it, all under one banner. Well, there's one kind of green they care about, and it's money. Jamie Court is a Los Angeles-based public advocate. I think the public gets it. The problem is they don't have any alternatives. We've had tremendous consolidation in this industry. So uh, we don't have uh, Chevron in Texaco, we have Chevron Texaco. We don't have Exxon and Mobil, we have Exxon Mobil. If you drive around a city like Los Angeles, you'll see Exxon stations across the street from Mobil gas stations. They're the same company. One of those behemoths, Chevron Texaco, runs this North California facility. It processes North Slope oil and controls the flow of gas into the Pacific Northwest. We have about 2 million barrels of storage of finished gasoline and gasoline components at any given time. Chevron is a big refiner. ConocoPhillips is even bigger. 12 plants in the United States, 6 in Europe, 1 in Asia. So you're traveling far and wide looking for new fields outside of the United States as well as inside of the United States. Can you describe uh, the quantity of crude ConocoPhillips is moving around the planet every day? Uh, we refine about 3 million barrels a day. So every day we have to go out and access, purchase 3 million barrels of oil to run as feedstock into our refineries to make gasoline, diesel, and other refined product. Finding enough oil is one problem. Having enough refineries to meet gasoline demand is another. In fact, there hasn't been a single new refinery built in this country since 1976.